all right so welcome to this section this session we'll be talking about web management all right under here we said that uh, web management refers to all the activities included in the process of hosting and maintaining a website on the world wide web all right so this is very very important after talking about how to design a website to the local host and how to import a locally designed website to a live host the next thing is to look at how to manage the website you have designed this is very very important in this session we'll be looking at how to work with our control panel how to work with our dashboard ftp online security seo or search engine optimization marketing and the likes all right so right here let's move to the first one that says control panel all right you need to know how to navigate around the control panel of your web hosting provider all right so right here let's go to our hosting provider here right you can see right here this is my control panel this is the control panel of my web host you need to understand your control panel interface or the interface of your web hosting provider all right right here you can see i have email accounts this is where i can set up email account this is the forwarder this is the email routine this is the uh the autoresponder you can go through all of these to see how it can help your management all right it can help you manage your website this is auto ssl this is mocha sites preview right here let's assume i want to preview this uh, auto ssl right here we'll open this in a new tab here all right right here you can see these are the domains that has auto ssl as a web manager you should know how to include uh, ssl to your domains and how to exclude you can see i can exclude this particular uh, domain from using the auto ssl if you scroll down you find out here that this is a website first.offerlinux.com i can exclude this from using the auto ssl so basically here as a web manager you should know how to uh, make use of all the panels you have in the control panel you have the manage profile you have the manage billing information view email history and news and the likes if you scroll down you should know how to work with your file manager this is very very important let's open this in a new tab we've talked about the file manager uh, before right here you can see these are the domain names i have here uh, this is all for learners.com. This is first.offerlearners.com. If you click on that, it's going to take you to where you have uh, your WP content, WP admin, and the likes. We're going to start talking about how to claim our properties with Google and other search engines. It'll give us some files to upload at the root folder of our website, right? So, right here, this is where you can upload all of that. If you want to add a new file to this particular domain name, all you need to do is to click on upload right here and you select the file so if we click on upload here it's going to take us to a place where we can select that file from our computer right so after that the file will be uploaded to this particular place so as a web manager you should know how to navigate through the file manager this is very very important then if my website crashes there are some things that will make your website crash the first is ip clash from your plugins all right basically it's from ip clash from your website all right the best thing to do right here is to go to your wp content open the folder that contains your wp content then go to your plugins right here the reason why we we'll use this method is because when your wordpress website crashes you'll find out that when you try logging to the dashboard of your website you will not be able to log in all right the best thing to do is to come to your control panel here go to the file manager then rename all the plugins you have right here all right for you to rename your plugin is very simple you, you double click on the plugin right here then you add one here after that you hit the enter all right now it's going to rename this particular plugin by default it has automatically deactivated this plugin if we go back to our dashboard right here click on installed plugins you can see this has been deactivated you can activate again right so basically here you can rename all the plugins you have if your website crashes right let's assume you want to rename this you put a one inside the bracket after that you hit the enter let's go back to our plugins here where's the plugin this is wordpress import you can see is activated let's re reload this it's going to be deactivated automatically you can see that this is wordpress importer it has been deactivated we need to activate over again so right here this is the best practice if your website crashes due to plugin ip clash all right all you need to do is to come to your plugin section right here using your live 
server rename all the plugin by adding numbers at the front of each of the plugins. It's going to automatically deactivate all the plugins you have. Then you can come right to your website, then you reload your website. You're going to find out that your website is going to load perfectly. All right, you have to come back to your plugin uh, section right here, then you have to start. Are removing the new names that you added remove the one right here you click on the enter here all right you can see this is the original name right here then um you can then reload your dashboard your plugin session dashboard right here after deactivating all your plugins your website should load fine all right so when you keep activating your plugins one after the other if you activate this you reload your website to see if your website is going to load uh perfectly all right uh, you activate the second one also you are going to load your website until you activate a particular plugin that is going to crash your website so that is how you can detect a plugin that is responsible for crashing your website right so this is how you can basically navigate around your control panel as a web manager this is very very important right so take your time to go through your control panel if you scroll down here you are going to see where you have software clause where you can install a new wordpress to a new subdomain or a domain account right if you look at the right hand side here you are going to see other features that came with this particular hosting service you can see the primary domain name here is all for learners and we have the statistics here uh this is the disk size i'm using presently i've not used up to a gig you can see this is 880 megabytes out of infinite i have infinite disk storage right then this is bandwidth i'm having infinite also almost everything here is infinite all right right here we'll talk about the subdomain you can see i only have three subdomains right here you can create as many subdomain as possible we've talked about that all you need to do is to locate your subdomain right click on our subdomain here let's open this in a new tab all right so this way you're going to enter the name of that subdomain this is very very important all you need to do is to create a subdomain after creating a subdomain uh you come back to your control panel you go to where you have the software clause right here click on the wordpress icon right there all right then you click on install straight up then this is where you are going to select that domain right here if you click on this you are going to see the subdomain you've created so you can see this is sub one this is our first uh, subdomain you can create as many subdomain as possible you can see under the control panel here let's click on control panel here you can see under the control panel here i have infinite subdomain i can create as many subdomains as possible right so instead of uh, creating a project folder using the local host and creating database name and database users you can just come here to create a subdomain and install your wordpress and start designing your website all right so basically here these are the features in the control panel you can go through all of these depending on the hosting provider that you have go through all of these the file manager is very important right uh, the subdomain is very very important also you can talk about link building this is seo and marketing tool you can use any of these marketing tools right here but some of them require that you make payments all right so just go through the interface of your control panel and see what you can uh, tweak right there right and there is another thing here every web hosting provider has a support if you're having issues with anything that attends to your control panel you can reach out to your web hosting contact support right my contact support is here this is mocha host mocha host right here all right you can see here this is live chat once i click on live chat it's going to take me to this place where i'm going to start a new chat with an online support this is very very important so if you're having issues with uh your control panel you can reach out to the live support after that i'll talk about the dashboard the dashboard is the dashboard of your wordpress website your live wordpress website very very important right this is our dashboard right here you can see this was the website we actually imported i know you might be wondering why our image is not displaying here and the likes right uh, most of the times when you import like these images might be missing the best thing you need to do is since you have the images stored in your computer you can import 
uh, one after the other if the export process did not actually import all your media files the name here was uh, actually either my first website or so it was changed to my blog and the menu have not been selected here it means that the menu settings was not imported uh, correctly so right here you can edit all of that now the big advantage of using the local server to design is that after presenting your website to your client uh, when you are submitting proposals if it is approved you can use the import function to import to a live host then if some of the features were not imported you can go back to your local server to see what and what you have listed in the website so you can just do that quickly and it's going to save you the time you can import all the images that was here to replace in this post you can see these are actually other projects for this particular website you can look for the images to replace the images right here then the footer also you can work on the footer side as well right so we talked about how to work on the footer through the river that team options you can go through all of that and just uh, make the minor changes right here all right so when we are talking about the dashboard uh, as a web manager there are things you need to take note of web management goes beyond installing uploading and activating wordpress teams and plugins all right we are talking about website management using the wordpress dashboard a larger percentage goes to content creation all right if you go to your post here the articles here you find out that there are lots of articles that came with this premium team you can see this is we do high quality sticker a varieties of products to boost your brand identity let us create your procure personalize your daily tools these are important articles most of the times as a web manager you have to sign a contract with the owner of the website that you are going to be creating to soon number of articles in a week all right so we find out that larger percentage of web management uh, goes to content creation you need to write engaging posts or engaging articles that you can share to the audience of a particular business all right when we move to content creation we're going to learn how to create original content we talk about uh, uh video video creation image creation audio creation and articles right here all right but this is very very important you need to look for catching article titles and write content about this article so as a web manager you should learn how to create content this is very very important all right after that uh we can still talk about uh, making some uh, major changes uh, in the website then after that the next thing you talk about is updating teams and plugins this is very very important if you don't visit your dashboard uh, frequently to see the updates you have right here you are going to be having a lot of complaints from your clients take for instance this particular team uses uh, the wp page bakery team editor if that WP page bakery team editor goes out of dates or no longer functioning, you find out that the layout of this website is going to break. These are uh, pro printing services will be right here to cover the front here. This uh, graphic design will come below that. This will come below the graphic design. All of this is going to scatter the images that are optimized right here will grow so big to cover the entire screen. So right here, you need to consistently check for updates visit your dashboard regularly to see our uh, plugins and teams that needs to be updated and update the teams and plugins all right so this is very very important as a web manager learning how to work with your wordpress dashboard so right here your ftp is a feature under the control panel so you can go through your control panel to uh, see how you can make use of your ftp then the next thing as a web manager is online security this is very very important you have to secure your password most of the times is advised that you do not give out the login details of the cpanel and the dashboard to any other person in fact it's advisable that you don't even give it out to the owner of the website since you are the one managing the website you should be the only one that has access to log into the dashboard and the control panel of the website all right we'll talk about search engine optimization this is very very important search engine optimization are the little things you do in your website for the content of your website to be ranked at the top of search engine results page take for instance we'll go to google right here and we'll type in school competitions in nigeria 2022 right you can see this is a, a website that I actually managed presently all right you can see this ranking for this particular keyword right here this is also another content from the same website ranking at the top there are some things i've done for the content of this website to 
appear at the top of search engine result page so that people visiting this particular article can reach out to the owner of this business right so this is very very important you need to learn search engine optimization and we're going to look into search engine optimization in this course all right the next thing here is marketing as a web manager you should learn online marketing this is very very important online marketing most of the time does not mean that you have to go online to start selling the products of the company most of the times you need to create social accounts for the website you start creating the social accounts you need to share the links of the content you have created on the social media right Say for instance they have a new product that they want to advertise to the public all you need to do is to create an article or create a content for that particular product then share the links on social media and other platform in that way you are trying to market that business right so marketing is very important as a web manager learn to create content to promote the website right so basically here these are the things you need to learn in web management